Your service business website should be your most reliable source of leads, but if you're like most business owners, it's not performing as effectively as it could be. Today, I'm going to show you the exact elements that makes the difference between a quality, high converting website that converts visitors into paying customers or one that just sits there looking pretty. I'm not going to convince you to go out and pay thousands for some developer, but just implement easy, actionable steps to turn your existing business into the conversion magnet machine that you're looking for. Whether you're in plumbing, electrical, HVAC, roofing, these principles work because they mimic the actions that the customers take when they're actually looking for help with a service they're looking for. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna walk you through each step and show you exactly why it works, why it matters, and what to do to make the changes you need. I'm not here to sell you anything, but if you find this valuable and you want my 100% free step-by-step -step course, website templates, and funnels, just like the video, share it with a friend or business owner that could find it helpful. Come back here, comment that you've done it, and I'll share the private link with you so you can get it all completely free. And with that being said, let's get started. Right then, let's talk about making your website actually work for you. You know how most service business websites just sit there like a digital paperweight. We're going to change that for you today. Think of your website as your hardest working employee, one that never takes tea breaks, works even when you are up to your elbows in emergencies or wrestling with some business related stuff. It's going to be there 24 seven representing you being your business card and your contact point for potential customers. First up, we've got what I like to call the digital equivalent of Waving, <laughs> waving your arms around the emergency banner. Look, when someone's got a burst pipe at 3 a.m., they're not terribly interested in your company history or your grandmother's secret recipe for Yorkshire pudding. They want to know two things. Can you help and how quickly can you get there? That's why your banner needs to be about as subtle as a peacock at a pigeon convention. Make it eye-catching but professional. We're not selling cars, we're offering a critical service to people that need them. So moving on to the trust triggers. Now, here's where we get to show off a bit on our websites, but in a proper British way of showing off, you know, where we're actually quite brilliant, but we just pretend we're not bad. So firstly is before and after photos. Nothing says we know our stuff quite like showing your handiwork. Just try and avoid those mysterious, perfect stock photo kind of things. Real work isn't always pretty, but it's honest and that's what people are looking for. Next, we're going to go on to live Google reviews because let's face it, we all check reviews before buying anything, even if it's a packet of crisps. So make sure you've got a widget on your website that shows a live feed of your Google reviews. Next, we're going to go on to accreditations. All those fancy certificates you've worked your absolute socks off, it's time to actually put them into action rather than just sat on a wall somewhere. So just have a dedicated section to completely plaster them there in plain sight for everyone to see. If you've got them as well, um, throw in your response time guarantees because no one likes waiting around when they're looking for your kind of service. So that's why they usually end up going for someone else for the job because they're like, ah, this guy responds in 10 minutes and it's guaranteed. So if you've got them there, you can guarantee it. Put your response times on your website. Next, we're going to look at contact options. So here's where we make it as easy as possible for people to contact you as soon as they open your website up on Google. We want all of our forms to just ask simple questions like first name, problem, email. We don't want to ask for the life story. Uh, we don't want to give them too many options to click or they're just going to bounce off. They're going to click away and find some simpler website to get their contact information on. So yeah, just ask for the essential bits. If they're combined with a live chat widget or conversational AI chat widget, then we've seen around 36% conversion rates from people coming onto a website, looking for help and popping into a chat. Next, we've got your phone number. You want this big enough to spot even if you haven't got your glasses on. Literally, I cannot tell you how well this works. You've probably even caught yourself doing this dozens of times last year, just searching around websites looking for numbers. So please keep it front and center in multiple locations so that at any point, someone could just pick your number and give you a call. And then finally, an instant style booking calendar. So not something really for emergency jobs, unless you've got the back end set up for that, but just a simple booking calendar for regular jobs. Uh, Cause people just, 
sometimes love to sort things out without even chatting to someone, calling. They just want to go onto a website, click book, and then turn up for the appointment. So how does this all work together? Think of it as a well-oiled machine. Um, actually, a good friend of mine gave an analogy of breakfast. So let's try that out and see if it's not too cheesy. So your, your emergency banner is your egg yolk. Bright yellow, really eye-catching. Your trust triggers are your bacon, your hash browns, and the contact options are your beans, your French toast. Together, it's perfect. When it's all working together like that, combined as a great breakfast, you end up having a like a virtual receptionist that never has a bad day. Uh, they don't need bank holidays off. They can handle multiple customer inquiries at once and don't spend half the morning chatting about last night's TV. So you're asking yourself, why does this all actually matter? Let's be honest, your customers that visit your site they aren't just browsing for fun. It's shocking, I know. When they need a tradesperson, they're usually in a little bit of a pickle. Um, the last thing they need is a website that's about as helpful as a chocolate teapot. By making everything crystal clear, you're already solving their first problem, which is finding someone who's actually competent enough to help them. And if this hasn't quite sold you yet on why you should make your website more user-friendly, let's look at some more tangible benefits of getting this right. Okay, we're gonna start with increased leads. Your website ends up becoming a consistent source of high quality inquiries, the right type of leads for your business, visiting you and getting in touch with you. We've then got an improved customer experience when potential customers can easily find what they need, understand your services and get in touch with you. Without friction, they're more likely to choose you over your competitors. The positive experience not only translates to a great start with you, but also it's the foundation for that relationship for the long-term customer relationships, the long-term customer value that we've talked about in the last video. And then lastly, it's more bookings. What's better than that? The well-structured website with clear calls to action, uh, easy to find contact forms, very visible phone number, naturally leads to higher conversion rates. And the conversion rate is just the percentage chance of someone landing on your website and getting in touch with you. Whether it's emergency calls or scheduled work, making it easy to book means fewer potential customers just drifting away. All in all, your website should be working as hard as you are. So consider asking yourself this to start off with improving yours. How many potential customers are you missing out on with your current website? What would it mean for your business to have a consistent stream of leads coming from your website? And how much time do you think you could save with the automated solutions like an automated chat, uh, follow-up functions and forms? Once you've got these written down, pen and paper, it'll become a no-brainer as to why you should get this done for your business and start making changes to your website. So that's it. You now know the few small changes you need to make to start getting more customers from your website. And again, if you want my free course, website templates, all that good stuff, just smash the like button, leave a comment down below, and I will send you a private link so you can get access to all of that for free. Speak to you soon.